This is a picture of Bobby DeLuca getting into a car next to Cadillac Frank Salemi in 1991. Today, the two former mobsters were face to face in court as DeLuca testified about the murder of nightclub owner Steve DeSaro. He said Salemi believed DeSaro was stealing from him and cooperating with the FBI. DeLuca told jurors Salemi asked him to prepare for a package, which was DeSaro's body. And DeLuca said he found an excavation site owned by his friend behind a mill in Rhode Island to bury it. DeLuca said Salemi told him he was there as his son, Frankie Boy, strangled the sorrow and killed him. As Frankie Boy was strangling and killing him, the nice guy walked in. Who was the nice guy? Steve the Rifleman Flemmy, Whitey Bulger's associate, serving a life sentence after pleading guilty to 10 murders. DeLuca said, the nice guy, that's what we used to call Steve Flemmy. He was a nice gentleman, very quiet. DeLuca also told jurors about the inner workings of the mob, including his induction ceremony at a home in Medford. He says they went upstairs to a bedroom and then one man was called down at a time for the ceremony. He says they put a burning card of a saint in your hand and pricked your fingers and became blood brothers. Under cross-examination, DeLuca admitted he lied to prosecutors about DeSaro's murder and he watched as another man in Providence was shot and killed. And Aluka is currently locked up on conspiracy to commit murder and obstruction of justice charges. We'll be back on the stand tomorrow. And another key witness ahead in this trial, the man Deluca called the nice guy, Steve Flemmy.